Spinning is not the hardest part of Pop Chavez. It is to land the puck on your deck. Sometimes your ward flies away, flips after you think you caught it, spins too much, or your back fit does not land on your deck. This time, after talking about the basic physics of Pop Chavez, we'll talk about the science behind those problems. You're watching Why the Trick, and today we are going to study a trick scientifically. First of all, let's see where your ward really goes when you pop shove it. First, as you start popping, this wheel becomes a pivot point and sends your board to the toe side. Soon after that, the tail becomes a contact point with the ground, further swinging out your board. As you know, your board lands on your toe side eventually. And the same thing can be said whether it's a pop shove it, or it's just a normal shove it. Now, let's talk about how to land it. Preparation is everything in such a simple trick as a pop shove it. This may vary depending on your preference, but try this. Try to shift your weight diagonally forward before popping. This will allow your body to be floating over the place where your board will be after popping. In this case, the model's weight is described in lime green and it moves before the board leaves the ground. After popping, the board, whose center is described in orange, slips under the body. As a result, the board and the body align by the time they meet. And by doing this, you can just focus on popping as hard as you want to without having to think about jumping forward. This happens because your body weight is located in front of your back toe. Which means, as you try to pop straight down, you will eventually be shoving your board to the heel side while at the same time bringing your body to the toe side. But your body weight keeps on moving in the same direction while you are in the air. So don't try to shift your weight all the way to the landing point before popping. In my case, it seems like I'm moving my weight around 20 cm diagonally forward before popping. Let's also talk about what could go wrong. Sometimes, you may encounter the catch and flip problem. This is because your body is not properly located over your deck. As a result, even when you think you catch your board, since the center of gravity of your body is not aligned with that of your boards, you can't bring it below your feet. So if you encounter this, try to shift your weight a little bit further to the toe side. However, too much of a good thing. If you overemphasize the transition of your weight, you will wind up spinning your board too much. With the more weight on the toe side, it becomes harder to pop straight down, making it easier to accidentally scoop the tail, spinning it too much. And it gets even worse when you rush into it. By suddenly crouching down without paying attention to the weight distribution, you may tilt your body axis which further exacerbates this problem. So before popping, try to keep your body axis straight up, don't rush into it, and gradually shift your weight forward. Finally, let's also think about the problem that your back foot does not land on your deck. When you pop, the majority of your weight is on your back foot. So if you try to simply shift your weight to the toe side without jumping forward, your weight will stay on the rear side of your board. So try to shift your weight a little bit further forward if you're having this problem. Once again, preparation is everything. Whether you can land it or not is already decided by the time you pop. And that's all for this episode. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching as always. Happy New Year, and until next time.